Hi there, Extreme Trains here. So, as you can see in front of me, I have finally managed to pick up the 2018 versions of the Thomas Wood Annie and Clarabelle. Now, this I got these at, um, I think, standard retail price, finally, um, from Amazon. So, I actually was able to review them because previously they were costing like $80 because they weren't widely available. Um, as some people have commented, um, these are the unpainted versions of these items. And there's a couple of reasons I bought that. One is because the painted versions aren't out yet. But two, I actually don't mind the unpainted aesthetic. I know a lot of people don't like it. I didn't like the way some of them were painted in that aesthetic, but to me, I actually think the unpainted look was quite interesting, and it was just some of the cheap moulding that they've done that I haven't really liked, and that has been a big problem for me. So, that said, I'm going to be reviewing this ending cobra right here. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. standard packaging for the bigger engines of this, or bigger engines or packs of this line, and in Clarabelle there, figures right in the coaches. This, again, a good bio. I don't know what it was about the Wave 1 engines, they just absolutely messed up the bios, but it seems that they got feedback pretty much straight away and have not corrected that issue because that bio to me makes a lot of sense. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get them right. out. So, there's Annie and Clarabelle and the two figurines that they come with. The first one, I assume, is just a passenger. Um, this is a doctor, I think, by the look of it, judging by the fact she has a stethoscope and uh, around her neck and also the white coat, which I think is nice. Good to see some interesting kind of characters, probably on her way to work or something, or given there are so many animal sets, um, available, I'm sure you could do something to do with, you know, you know, oh, the vet is coming to see Mr. McCall's cows, or something like that. I think that's fine. Um, again, same articulation as always. This one, she's actually wearing, like, a skirt, and so you can see her legs. Um, if you don't like the aesthetic of these figures, you won't like this one. If you don't mind that aesthetic, then you will probably like this one. So, not a lot to say about that. This one here is, I assume, meant to be the guard, um, judging by the fact he's wearing that kind of guardy, you know, blue railway worker uniform that they do on the island of Sodor. Um, again, a fine figure. I think it's good that it's got a different pose. I like the wave. Would have been nice maybe if he had a whistle in his mouth or a flag maybe in his hand, um, but I can live without it. The detailing on this is actually not too bad, and again, you just um, have the bend in the legs, so he can sit down. So, you know, if you like the figures, you'd be glad to get two more. If you don't like them, you don't like them. So, Let's take a look at each of these coaches. Now, obviously, these are the new style for Thomas Wood now, which is to have them figure compatible, so you have this huge hole in the middle. Um, this here is Annie. So this whole bottom section is all plastic. The only parts of wood are the two blocks on the end. Now, the first thing I want to draw attention to is they are wobbly. They're obviously secured by these pins, which I think is quite interesting. It's a bit of a retro throwback to have the pins on top of Annie and Clarabelle, because the old ones used to have them, and they got rid of them later down the track, and they've come back. Um, you can see that that's the first thing, these are a bit wobbly. The second thing is obviously this printing is inaccurate because it should be in the middle, but it's not there because that bit's cut out. So I am glad that they did move it up here. I would have been disappointed if they didn't have that writing on it because it is the only way you can tell them apart, um, which I'll get to in a second. Um, in terms of the detailing, I think these ones look quite nice. I have no problem with the exposed wood on these ones, particularly because um, it's the colour of the coaches is kind of that browning colour. So I think it looks quite nice to have the brown printing of the brown wood. Would have been nice again to have something on the back, particularly for the coaches, um, and particularly because they are going to be facing different directions. But it is what it is. Um, in terms of the aesthetic, though, I've already said this before, I don't like the cut aesthetic. I think it looks too weird, um, particularly with nothing in it. Uh, with, with, a, with a figure in it, it looks okay, because um, it makes sense why there's a hole, but when you're just trying to... You can't really play them without the figures because they just look really, really empty. Um, so that's a shame. They do look kind of funky in that respect. Coming now to Clarabelle, obviously same design. Um, she is a bit tighter. Her, um, you can even kind of see the wood has kind of stressed a bit more. So obviously she's been, you know, screwed together a bit tighter than um, her sister. But um, her front section is a little bit crooked. As you can kind of, it's a bit hard to, yeah, you can kind of see there. It's not... It's on diagonal like this, not flat. Um, and because it's so tight, I can't really do anything about it. So that's a bit rip in terms of production quality. Again, you've got all plastic on the bottom, Clarabel written there, Clarabel writing, same detailing. Although, interestingly, they actually have the same face. Um, 
which is a, a first, I think, for um, Thomas and Friends. Um, no more surprise, Annie and Smiling Clarabelle. They're both smiling, which, look, I think is fine. Um, you don't need to have one shocked and one not shocked. Um, but it would have been nice if they had maybe the eyes looking different ways or different smile or something. That would have been good. So, that's them individually. What about as a set? Thankfully, I was a bit worried in packaging that they'd done this the wrong way around, but no, they have. They put the magnets on so that, yes, indeed, Clarabelle's does face backwards and Annie faces forwards. So they couple together like that, which means the guard should be in the back one, like so. If he wants to sit in there. He actually sits in there a bit crooked, and I don't know if that's on purpose or not, or if it's just the way he sits. Yeah, he actually does sit in there crooked because he doesn't have two arms. These ones, they balance on the arms, and so he actually does sit crooked, which I actually think is all right, because it means his little arm is like waving out the side, which is fine. So now you can see that's how they look together. Let's get our best friend Thomas, couple him on, and just like kind of see how that looks. Um, as I said, it is a bit ridiculous, the aesthetic of these coaches and, you know, Bertie and Winston and stuff with these holes in them is strange. It does take some getting used to. I don't think they look ridiculous in terms of, you know, um, how they're proportioned. Um, they're big, but the coaches have always been out of scale in Thomas Wooden Railway, and Thomas Wood is obviously no exception to weird scaling. So I don't think that looks too bad. I just think it, yeah, it's ruined by the fact that it's got the big holes in here. If these were filled in and done in that aesthetic, I think it would look really nice. And as you can see, when you take them out and try and kind of play with them, you know, from this angle, it's kind of okay. You can kind of get away with it. But if you want to have Thomas coming straight past like this, put these figures down, you can see it does look very weird um, having them totally empty. They don't, this is the thing. They do look like rolling stock, that could be on a railway, but they don't look like Annie and Clarabelle because Annie and Clarabelle don't look like that. So I think that's probably the biggest problem in that regard. So in saying that, what do I think about Annie and Clarabelle? I think in terms of Thomas Wood, they actually don't look too bad. Um, in terms of what does what is there in painting, in printing, in shaping, is all good. Um, and to me, the real problem comes from the fact that they have this cutout to fit the figures. So if you don't like that play system, you aren't going to like these. And I don't really like that play system, so I don't like these ones. Um, but in terms of them as toys, if you're a, if you were a kid and you like Thomas and Friends and you want to play with your trains, I think you would really enjoy coupling Thomas to Annie and Clarabelle and chugging along. The biggest problem to me is that there is no starter set available that has Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle, and there should be. The um, Bertie and Thomas figure eight set should have had Annie and Clarabelle in it um, because they're Thomas's famous coaches and he shouldn't really be going anywhere without them. So that's my thoughts about these two coaches. Make sure you comment and do all the stuff you do in the comments below. I've enjoyed reading them. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on these ones. I'm glad to finally have completed them and I've kind of been waiting for them to do some Thomas Wood you know, story videos because I think they're really important characters I want to have in my collection before I started doing that. Um, so yes, I will do that. Amazing. All right. Okay. That's all we've got time for. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Extreme Trains. Mm -hmm.